Replacing worktops. I'm stuck. <coughs> Replacing worktops. Um, this is going to be difficult because it's all tiled on top. So, wish me luck. <laughs> experiences with the if you're happy with your experience already with worktops yeah 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 I've only done one of a kitchen with you that's when you were better <coughs> right so what we're going to do with worktops there's two different options there's the button scribe joint which is your new normal route with a joint in or you can do a literally a butt joint you can only do the butt joint when the face of the worktop is square and that's what i'm going to do so i'm just going to route route the dog bolts so it ties the worktop together but i'm not going to do the button scribe joint because it doesn't need it the only reason you do that is because if the worktop is rounded on the edge pretty much so we're just going to do a straight cut into the small worktop and then dog bolt in underneath i don't really like the button scribe joint it looks horrible but the uh, if you noticed we've got a new hoover which is this it's really handy as well but that wasn't the thing that I was unboxing the other thing that I was unboxing was uh, the router that's my, that's my new addition in there not Jason's fine well to be fair I did buy it for you actually but not, but not for you <laughs> it was, it was at the end, it's, of, the it's end of the apprenticeship I take it home with me just need to check the inside measurement if this was out of square it was that wall it's, this worked up out of square it just needs Tilting. It's two mil out, but on worktops, that's a lot. Yeah, two nine three two bad enough. Really jog the old memory. For a long time since I've done this. <laughs> I think these pegs are possibly the most important thing ever. Forget power tools. If you lose these, it's like the end of the world. Because this is technically the female end and with the diagram on these well this is the one we're doing so it's saying this side needs to face down so then that side face down this is what we bought the easiest thing to do is you mark the dog bolts measure the depth of them and then i like to mark it on the work top so then that's where i know where i'm going to much easier than messing so then you can just plunge I like to do it in three passes as well. Never do it in one pass because your uh, motor on your router will burn out very quick. That was having dust extraction, wasn't it? Oh, might as well take me jump off and keep yourself warm with them shaving. <laughs> your feet were killing me then. Bloody hell. <laughs> So what we did on the original hob is we measured off a tile to the gaps So then when we put the hob back in the gas pipe should line up perfectly And obviously we've got a little bit of play, but we've measured off the original tile So it should it should be fine in terms of the sink There's a brand new sink going in with all the adjustments and stuff like that It, it should be all right to get started really and also because they worked up so heavy and big Instead of taking it in and out in and out in and out all the time. We're just gonna cut in here um, We've got dust extraction and everything so it's Makes life easier.
in loads of It involves in. gluing the edges. Fuck on the knife. Just no, just for me, like that. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and then you get to peel it off later. So either you can do it or I can do it. I used to love doing it. No, you didn't. But no, I used to love it. Because I used to just go, peel it off. I used to do it in that year six years. Ooh, he's got a new Gorilla Glue, check it out. So just in case you're wondering why I'm going the end grain, it's just in case there is any leaks. The end grain's all sealed by the Gorilla Glue and then it won't rot away, pretty much. You can use silicone for it, but um, it's just like a double bubble effect because it is all going to be siliconed around where the sink's sitting in. But just having a seal of the Gorilla Glue on just makes it a little bit a little bit more watertight. Little tip for you there. I love doing this part because I get to peel the glue off later on. And the hole that we've cut is 10 mil uh, uh, smaller than the outside measurement of the sink as well. Which they're not. Which they always are. <laughs> Lovely. So I've just finished that worktop job. It seems like the past few videos we have literally been in here. You'll have to excuse the mess in here. Uh, I have been pretty busy and haven't had much time to uh, tidy things up, but I really do need to do that. And uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name's Jason Fairclough. I'm 21, <laughs> I'm 21 years old. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm a joiner from England, Great Britain, England. The north of England. Uh, I have an apprentice and I'm self-employed and this is my journey of doing join. I don't know what I'm saying. But basically I just make videos of me cutting wood constantly at different places. Stay tuned. And I film my videos just to showcase my work and follow my life for however long I keep doing these videos for and see what happens. 175 subscribers by the way, pretty decent. Quite good, 75 subscribers has just flown up. It's mental. Anyway, um, this is what I bought. So I thought I'd just take the time now, seeing as it's probably a very short video with the, doing the worktops. Now obviously you saw what I bought, but I thought, let's have a little rundown of it. Now, by the way, if you, if you want a review, um, this isn't a review at all. It's more of a, I don't know. I don't know what it is. A few of you asked what was in the box at the end of the video, and obviously it was the half inch router um, made by. Oh, God, it's heavy! Made by Trend. And I did say it wasn't anything to be like marveled over. It's just a half inch router. However, originally I was going to buy a Fez tool, and PayPal wouldn't let me buy it. So I nearly spent 500 quid on a router. I got this bad boy instead. Now. Trend. I love Trend. Instead of paying like 500 quid for a Fez tool router, I decided to get this. Now I could have got the Makita router, I could have got the Koki router, I could have got uh, the Fez tool router, I could have got the some other routers, but I decided to go with this because one, it was cheap, um, and that was that's the main thing. <laughs> no, one, it's cheap. Um, on ITS, if you're from England, ITS. Um, is where I usually get all my tools from. They're a very good company. And they're doing a deal on this. I think it was like, I think it was 99 quid XVAT. But don't let the price fool you. It's a very, very good 
brand. Now, if you don't know what Trend is and you're from another country and never heard of Trend, Trend do focus a lot on routers and mainly jigs. So I needed this big worktop jig, obviously for the worktop. So they're my bolts that I put in the worktop. This is for the female, that's for the male cut over there. It's very complicated, I'll probably go through it. I might go through it in this video, I don't know. We'll see how I feel. But they do like jigs for hinges, jigs for worktops, uh, pocket hole jigs, they do uh, lock jigs, pretty much a wide range of jigs and routers, but they're a really good brand. Now, the only reason I wanted the fez saw is because of the dust extraction. Now, as you saw when I was routering that bad boy out, the dust extraction was pretty bad. However, this isn't the best, um, I, I've not really got the best opinion of it because uh, my hoover was full, which we found that out about five minutes later. So it really didn't have the greatest of suckage value, if you know what I'm saying. Now, for what I need it for, which is literally worktops, this route was great. I don't really need a half inch router for anything else. You know, I don't do any fancy, I don't do any stairs, you know, I don't want any stair jigs, I don't want any other jigs. I just pretty much do worktops and kitchens and stuff when it comes to using it. And I'll probably find something else to use it for, but at the moment it's just for that. That's why I didn't want to spend, or I decided not to spend, um, absolutely tons of money on it. For something that I only need, like, for small, small jobs. And also, you saw my little hoover. I bought that little, I go get it. This little thing, this little, pretty much a pocket hoover, I could fit it in my pocket. Um, I bought off, again, ITF. It cost me, I want to say like 170 quid, I think. Yeah, a bit less, I'm not sure, can't remember. It sounds pretty expensive for a really small pocket hoover that doesn't have anything, you know, any other uses other than just being there to suck up rubbish. The reason I've actually bought the thing was I do quite a lot of door fitting, internal doors. I don't film most of those just because um, I think it's quite a bit of an invasion of privacy of people's houses because I'm literally going in every single room and I don't want to do that to any of my customers. But I'm hoping you can understand that. But when we're fitting doors, it's always quite frustrating when I've got my other hoover, my battery one, and I have to have that outside on my router or my plunge saw or whatever else is outside to cut. And then Jake's inside, you know Jake is my apprentice, doing all the locks. And now the locks are the messiest part, and especially when you're inside as well. Um, and people have got all the carpets down and we can't, we're not, I've not got enough dust sheets to put down and plus it'll cost extra money if I get the roll and stroll and all that. So I thought, well, I need another hoover just for inside so I don't have to keep on going back and forth and back and forth or sacrificing one thing for the other. Well, you're outside, it doesn't matter if it gets messy, yeah, but if people's cars are outside and I've got, the, you know, dust shooting out of the end of a at the end of the plunge saw and it's going over someone's car and the car's wet, it's just gonna stick to it. So that's never good. So having this is really handy. It only holds one battery as well, which is pretty good. It's only for light work. So it's nice um, just for like holding it up like what we're doing when we're moving the worktops and stuff. So it's a nice little tool, it's pretty good. So I don't if you, if you don't have one, definitely get one and you do a lot of inside work like I do. Also, actually talking about the job, we had a little bit of trouble with the sink. We couldn't actually plumb the sink in. Usually I would plumb sinks in and that's why you probably didn't see any of the plumbing of the sinking part in. As I sat underneath that sink for an hour and a half trying to figure out how all these fittings went together. The combinations of fittings that we had wouldn't allow it to all join together so the water could go down the waste. Pretty much. I'm gonna go put my feet up now, make another brew, have tea, and that's me for the night. Probably edit this video as well. Anyway, just like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.